Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 454. I'm your host, Omar Sanzo. And well, today we got some news for you this week, and let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. So, in today's news, new My Little Pony meets Jenny Love line hits Japan, complete with OC Pony. So, um, let's see what Sufisto wrote down. Fashion company over in Japan has apparently teamed up with Hasbro for a bunch of little products starring their OC in various, uh, sorry, and other various characters. Uh, if you are someone that needs to collect it all or live in Japan, check the selection below. They also have some pretty cute regular pony arts. Yay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm guessing these are stickers. Probably. So you got a pencil case or a, well, pe pencil case is the most logical thing to say. Uh, I'm guessing this is a water bottle, a bento box, and some art. Arts, arts. So um, it seems that the company is called Jenny, and they collab with. My Little Pony to do something. Um, in all honesty, I got no idea where this came from and how this, I won't say merger or how this collab works. But it's still it's cool because um, when you see and think about uh, joint venturing, like uh, for example, um, I won't say Hot Topic, but let's just say Hot Topic as an example. Hot Topic wants to sell their pony brand stuff uh they might just do okay look this is our pony swag here it is that's about it but jenny here put the extra effort into creating their own oc and having it be the mascot for the pony line of products and it's pretty cool and here's the thing they put it in almost everything from their, uh, this is their logo, okay. Uh, from their stickers to their pencil case to even their, I'm guessing this is a water bottle. I'm not 100% sure. And even their bento box. So they're putting the extra effort because, here's the thing. Um, OC Pony do not steal kind of stuff and nobody really likes OC that much because I don't want OC. I want the main cast kind of mentality and them doing this is kind of a double-edged sword because if you have an oc plastered on a product that you want some people might not like it because oh i don't like jenny i want rainbow dash or twilight on the pencil case but now you have jenny here and oh do i take the hit or do i just find something else so this is one of those things where they're brave to do it and i hope they gain success because this is really cool other than that uh, i got no idea what else um we we do see here that there's jenny and rainbow dash applejack and rarity but i don't see much of the others like where is poor fluttershy could this be her? But still, uh, this is one of those scenarios where I do like the gusto. I, I do like the extra effort that they take just to do the crossover. They, they could just plaster pony toys on products, but this is the extra effort that um, I personally appreciate from companies because they're getting into the spirit of things. So let's move on to the next topic or the next news. <clears throat> New line of adorable molded po My Little Pony figure revealed from Pop Market China. And he says, China has once again picked up another awesome new merchandise line for Pony, starting the entire main, sorry, starring the entire main cast in super high quality model forms. Each of the main six gets two dedicated poses, aside from Rarity, who has one, and Rainbow Dash with three. 
they also threw a celestia in there. Apparently, these were made from unpurposed, um, hmm, unpo, unposed, oh, sorry, unposed neutral mo created in 2014 by at ndh underscore three D over on Twitter. These were then sent by Hasbro to licensor to licensor, which then post them in the form we see today here today. Check out a gallery of all wow. Check out a get wow Seth, that's the check out the gallery for all of them below. This isn't any information. There's or there's any there isn't any information on them traveling outside of China yet, but here's hoping they do. Um so the toy or the products or <laughs> the company that make them is called Pop Market and they have some pretty cool images. So from what I understand by reading this uh the 3d molding or the 3d figures or neutral mold was created by someone called andy h 3d and somehow they took it and made possible uh, that that is raising some red flags over there i mean it, it's like taking someone else's work and profiting of it but here's the thing um the company is taking the product from the guy i'm not 100 percent sure taking is the right word i mean it, andy kill could be paid who knows but let's just say that took his work sent it over to hasbro hasbro molded them in this fashion and said okay um this is very i won't say sketch I won't say sus, but questionable is the word. Like we got no idea how this goes, and this this falls under a whole category of questions. But anyway, um, let's take a look see at the figures because the figures themselves are really awesome. I'm gonna open this one for example. This one, this one. I I think, and I'm just gonna open most of it. And tell you what I think because honestly, these are really, really awesome. Um, wow, Rainbow Dash has three. Okay, I'm gonna see the first batch first. Okay, so we got Ocean Wave Twilight Sparkle, Breezy, Breezy Twilight Sparkle, uh, Pearl Pinkie Pie, Gem Pinkie Pie, Lightning Rainbow Dash, Shining Rainbow Dash. Um, then we got Forest Applejack. And honestly, this looks really good. Like you can see by the quality of the mold and the coloring, it's just really cool. And then we got some other uh, uh, angles here, and they look good. And here's the thing about pony toys that freak me out, like especially the latest My Little Pony from McDonald's, uh, is the front view. When you take a look see at the front view of certain toys, you, you can tell that, oh my god, they didn't really thought about how their eyes would look like and whatnot. But here, it looks great. It looks natural. So, yay, that's awesome. And Applejack really looks good. So we got Gem Pinkie Pie. And from the frontal view, it looks good. And yeah, this, this really looks good. Like... The, the quality, uh, Pro Pinkie Pie, yeah, the quality here is just really, really good. Um, okay, I can see some blemishes here, but it's one of those things where they're, uh, how do I put this? It's one of those things where the finished product might not look like how the promo product looks like, and even if there's some blemish, I'm sure some crafty arts and craft people will kind of know how to fix it crystal rarity so crystal rarity this is just typical but still it looks good like this looks good um white cloud fluttershy 
yeah, this, this is this. Yeah, I'm repeating myself, but yeah, this looks great. Like the figure themselves looks great. Uh, Cherry Blossom Fluttershy. Yep, awesomeness. And Ocean Wave Twilight Sparkle. Yo, you got little fishies there. Haha, <laughs> uh, that's cool. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, um, the main here is flat. Okay, that, that is pretty cool. Uh, breezy Twilight Sparkle. Oh, I put that twice. All right, no problem. So yeah, this this is cool. This is cool. Um, crystal, colorful rainbow dash. Lightning, but all in all, this this just looks really good. Um, no pricing out yet, and um. Yeah, there's no there's no pricing out yet. I'm not hundred percent sure when this is going to be shipped or produced or whatever it is. But I'm guessing that if you live in China, this might be available for you. And I'm not hundred percent sure about the rest. Like where are they going to be heading and whatnot? Um, from what I can see here, uh, over here includes video of them. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna click on that one. But still, um, from what I can tell, they do have other collaboration work with other companies. Uh, I seen Disney, and I also seen Line, the Line mascot with bears and whatnot. So I seen that too. So, uh, the company, from what I read, they started in 2000. 10 and they've been in the market for over sorry for about 11 years now so they know their work so that's pretty cool other than that um yeah other than that i got no idea how popular their brand is outside of china because um this is the first time i heard of pop mart and from the uh, what you call this from the figures that they have and shown they're pretty okay um you know what i'm gonna share with you the website that i seen give me a second folks let's see yeah so let's go to their Popmart global because apparently i need to be in china to see the official site so yes uh this is their website um this is the global website by the way not the local china website so I might be limited in seeing what they have because they might have um, the ponies up there. But anywho, um, we see that they have like um, the Disney style Pinocchio, some Zodiacs, and some Ducko home training. Wow! So they have other products too, and they look kind of okay. Um, they. <laughs> Being in the industry for about 11 years now, they should know how to do stuff. And oh, they have the gacha thing where you need to collect and buy. Uh, this is crossed with um, Momiji. So yeah, you, you buy from a box like this. Um, okay, I'm not 100% sure how ponies would work. But this is just one of the cheaper ones like the blind bags. So if you buy something like this, this is $90. So this is a confirmation get. You don't need to gacha your way through getting stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think that's about it. Like the cheaper you go, the randomer you get. So yay, uh, that's the news for this week. So um, yeah, the, a little bit of a short news cycle, more on toys and whatnot. But so let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have i been doing my week so my week has been pretty okay dull really nothing new and fancy so <clears throat> let's see um i did attend a what you call this magic the gathering event well not really event it's kind of a meet up and let's play at the shop kind of deal um, the shop is allowing people to come so yay that's good other than that, um, just had fun with friends over there, just hanging out and doing silly stuff, <laughs> mostly playing card games. Other than that, um, nah, nothing much. No, no movies, no nothing. So, uh, kind of bored. I really want to head to the movies and just watch some. 
So, let's wrap things up. Anyway, um, let's see. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also reach the show's Twitter account is at <laughs> uh, at the MBS Show, and my I I am so confused. Twitter's show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. My Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And the Stitchy Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on BullyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, if you would please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Uh, over there you will catch me and Totera reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. And those are cartoon comic books, animes, movies, video games, and so on. We, we do like those things. <laughs> um, yep. So yeah, uh, those are fun. So anyway, uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.